Hi, good afternoon. My name is Anna Padron Sakora, and I'm a licensed clinical social worker at Pillars Community Health. Today I'm here to talk about um, loss and feelings of collective grief that we've all been going through since the coronavirus pandemic. Every day we're experiencing grief and loss as our routines and our schedules look different. As we move into week four of e-learning and working from home or not working at all, our world is different and there's lots of lost, big and small, that we go through every day. So when we think about grief, we think about death grief, but this is really more about grieving the small and very significant things that um, should have been and could have been during this time. So thinking about the kiddo who was supposed to get his braces off after two years and now has to wait a couple more months. Or the sophomore that had been taking um, driver's ed and was ready to get their license and now the DMV is closed. Or the birthday parties and the birthday dinners that have to be put on hold until we can um, be able to um, be together and not be social distancing. So these are all losses. These are all disappointments. These are hurtful. Um, these make us sad and angry. And so we have to acknowledge that and label it. If we put a name to it, we can learn how to manage it, right? Um, we have lingering feelings of grief all the time right now because there's many unknowns. Um, we know that grief is not linear, that it doesn't happen in stages, but that it happens parallel to our daily lives. So as we continue to go on with our daily functions and our responsibilities, there's moments that grief creep in and out of our daily routines. So for instance, sometimes it's just a memory or a feeling um, of something that we should have been doing at this time, and sometimes it hits us like a ton of bricks. And we have to pay attention to that. We have to pay attention that we are all um, different kind of grievers, and so sometimes people need to be doers, and this is like the kiddo that needs to play basketball outside for hours to get some of that energy out. Um, or, um, the neighbor that's desperately cleaning all of her closets out because she needs to stay busy. Um, this is how she, she's working through that, that anxiety and that grief at this time. And then there's others that need to sit still and that need to um, stop what they're doing and really be able to talk through some of their feelings. Um, so I ask you to be kind and be forgiving of yourself, to allow all the emotions that you're feeling, um, allow the space to sit with those emotions, right? Um, we get to decide how we're gonna remember this experience, how this grief journey is gonna look. So we want to acknowledge that we all ex have different experiences of different levels of losses from our past. So um, those memories, those triggers, those traumas that were all very emotionally vulnerable right now. So chances are those are gonna come back at this time. Those memories um, are gonna come back around at this time as we are thinking about people we've lost or things that we've lost over, over the, the time. Um, we're also um, speaking different languages. The way that the generation before us grieves and the generation after us grieves is very different, right? So for the younger generation, they've learned to communicate through devices. And so we have to pay attention to their communication with us through text, through social media. What are they saying? What do they need? How can we help? Um, and for generations before us, um, they may also need help with identifying those feelings and those words. Um, when we think about how we all um, experience grief differently, um, we have to acknowledge that grief is real and that the more we think about um, loss as um, something in our day-to-day -day life right now, then hopefully we can 
anticipate that when we get to the other side of this pandemic, that we will be um, individuals and families that have grown through their grief. So we're here as a community partner to continue in your journey, in your grief journey. We know the world looks different and that we are here to help support you navigate to get to the other side of the pandemic. All right, good luck.